What does it say to you that, that uh, South African broadcasters don't want to broadcast the film? I think it's very difficult. The fact that uh, you know all of our major broadcasters now that one could expect this maybe from the South African public broadcaster or, or uh, the SABC, which is trying to become a public broadcaster, but uh, lately is looking much more like the old state broadcaster we used to have, something which is run in. Uh, in the interests of the state and the government rather than the, the wider public, the wider citizens. The, we know what's happening there. The ETV and uh, Mnet uh, is a bit more surprising. But when you look deeper, once now, now we know what we know given the, what's happened at ETV, uh, the fact that the, the holding company are dependent on government for, for a number of contracts and specific regulations around set-top boxes and so on. You can see that uh, they don't want to get on the wrong side of government, uh, as do uh, Mnet. Um, so they're all compromised in, in, in one way or the other. Um, unfortunately, uh, this is the situation that our, uh, our broadcasting ecology presents us um, and it's only a robust engagement um, and mobilization of public opinion uh, and action which is going to, to, to change this. But at least we still have a, a robust uh, Print media section, online media section, you know, section of, of the media, where we've been getting uh, a great response, great reviews, uh, and I think we've, we've, the film has managed to profoundly influence the discourse, the discussion, the narrative around Marikana. I think most people now accept it was a massacre. Most people, uh, particularly in the media, now accepts that the following report was a whitewash. So, yeah, we win some, we lose some, but the fight continues, the struggle continues.